But uh, as promised, uh, Nigel, we have the Hitachi Energy Management with well, us. Well, let's get straight to it. Hitachi Energy, that's a stock on our radar after BHEL and the company's consortium won an order from Power Grid for a renewable energy transmission project between Gujarat and Maharashtra. To talk more on this HVDC order win, as well as the outlook on business, we're joined by Mr. Venu, the MD and CEO at Hitachi Indi Energy India. Who joins us? Hi, Mr. Venu. Good morning. I recall when I visited your uh, your facility in Karnataka, you said, Nigel, have patience. Things are in the works and hopefully things will start fructifying. And you also told me this, that earlier one HVDC order used to come every five years. You expect that frequency to go up. And so it is. We have a big order bin. Now, give us a few details. You know, and we're trying to get a couple of numbers out of you. Most yeah. analysts estimate the total project cost to be around 25,000 crores odd. And out of that, the equipment cost could be around 40 to 50%. So roughly, this order size could be around 10 to 10, 10 to 12,000 crores odd. Ballpark, yeah. these numbers should be correct? Thank you. Thank you, uh, Nigel. And uh, very good morning. And thank you for having me in your show. And as you rightly said, you know, we have been uh, discussing this. And we not only we are discussing this as a company, we have been taking a lot of actions over a period of time. Actions in terms of, you know, are, are, you know in terms of addi adding additional capacity or creating a new factories. In the last two years, uh, you know, a combination of brownfield and greenfield, we have added a five new five factories. And that's all basically in anticipation of the the demand tailwinds arising out of this energy transition and especially the HVDC, which is a very, very uh, critical technology for bulk uh, transmission of the renewable, bulk, trans uh, bulk integration of the renewable things in that. So by virtue of this technology and, uh, you know, it's, it's become a seamless uh, transfer of uh, 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 renewable generated from a one, loads, uh, one, one concentrated center to all the way bringing it to the load center. Mm -hmm. Mr. Venu, kilometers. And yes. coming, I'm coming back. And uh, normally, you know, these are uh, we are not given this uh, order number in the in the uh, uh, in the note which we have sent yesterday or day before yesterday. So what yes. I said, this is a very substantial order for us, and it gives a, a four to five year period where we are going to execute this particular project. And most of this is manufactured locally in our factories in India. Got it. All right. We know the technical, uh, you know, advantage that you have, and y'all are most equipped. But yeah. you know, let's give a ten percent deviation on both sides. Twenty-five thousand yeah. crores should be a fair number to work with. Ten percent yeah. deviation on both sides is that fair? Yeah. And equipment cost typically for an order like this will be forty to fifty percent. Ballpark, yeah. these numbers are correct. The twenty-five thousand crores, what you are talking about, and the SPV that does include what I understand is also a transmission lines, which we don't do the transmission line. But okay. our equipment will be anywhere, depending upon the size, scale, etc., anywhere between 50-60% of, of the total. Uh, so, total tr so transmission is not, you're not going to be part of it. So how much would it typically be in a project like this, transmission as a percentage of the total order size? Yeah, our size is? will be in the range of 50-60% of the, of the total uh, SPV project, uh, no, so more than 50, depending upon so what's, what the size, etc. You know, so 25,000 crores you said is including the tr tr part of it which you all are not into. So X of that, how much could it be? Will it be at a closer to around 20,000 crores? What I'm saying is that, our uh, and the total project, if you take, our portion will be 50-60% or 70% or, or depending upon upon the you know size, etc. But what is the total size, sir? Is it 20,000? Is it 25,000 crores? We got it 50 to 70%. It could be roughly. But what is it? 20 to 25,000 crores? No, we, could we, we work with that given, number? Uh, Nigel, as in please respect, we are not given okay. that because there is an ongoing uh, some other okay. things up there. So Just give us, okay. that, okay. give us what I can tell give us you is one more detail. quite a substantial and it gives yeah. a revenue visibility of at least three to four years. Give us one and more the... detail. You're in a consortium with BHL. You know, I'm looking at some back of the envelope calculations and they're saying out of the total equipment cost, Hitachi could be around 75%, BHL could be around 25%. This should be the rough ratio, 70-30 approximately? In the, in the joint venture, yes, you are right. We are in the 70% and uh, BHL is in 30%. Okay, so uh, it, uh, Nigel has tried and I think you've given <laughs> us uh, as much as you can, which is around 70-75%. Uh, we'll have to work with the numbers and uh, wait for it to come through. So let's right. let's talk about the order book growth. Uh, as the numbers that I have, I think as of uh, the end of the second quarter, your total order backlog was around 8,900 crores, right? And now mm -hmm. this big, big ticket order has come through. Right. So, <clears throat> and then you're not giving us the, the exact quantum. But uh, will there be uh, the, you know, more HVDC orders of this kind? And you've been very bullish on data centers, on transportation, yeah. on the renewable sector. Yeah. Uh, give us more color on the order book. 
How yeah. is it likely to be by the end of FY25? Right. And what will the breakup be? Because you have also said that your margins eventually should go to double digits. Yeah. How is that going yeah. to happen? Which is the yeah. segment in the order book that will be fetching you maximum margins? And when do you touch double digit margins? Right. So, uh, absolutely. As you rightly said, let me touch on the HVDC. We have been saying that, you know, HVDC previously used to be one HVDC project for every five to six years in India. But today, the need of the hour is to have an, a one HVDC project per year or, or as we're going forward, it may be two HVDC projects per, per, per every two years. Okay, that's a, a, a demand is going to be there in that. But based on our publicly available information, we see at least three more HVDC projects are coming under bidding or some of them are in the bidding process and where we are also looking actively those three projects as well. And in addition to that, we have been also maintaining very consistently saying that we have a very clear strategy on, on the growth segment, high growth segment. Data center is one among them and then renewables, the transmission and the industries. And in addition to that, we also talked about the two other levers that is our exports. We brought exports on a consistent basis, 25% of our order, order, total order values, and also the services, because we have been present 75 years in this country, and we have created a huge uh, you know, uh, uh, pipeline of, of our install base, and we would like to leverage that install base to offer our digital and services to our customers, and the services also have high uh, focus on that. We are taking a lot of actions in driving the service business business uh, uh, perfect. Uh, so the uh, margins, uh, so how do you yeah, get to double digit margins? Yeah, which is what you've so been promising. Margins is a combination of growing as in the market and also the exports. We are uh, consistently driving the exports. And the third one is the service definitely will give a much higher margin uh, in, the, in the service portfolio in that. All these three combination of that and in addition to our various other initiatives of, uh, of you know, whether it is, uh, you know, uh, uh, manufacturing efficiencies, bringing productivity, all those things would help right. us to get to double-digit margins. Okay. Uh, <clears throat> so, good morning, uh, Prashant here. Uh, morning. On, on the renewable energy uh, uh, front, right, building out uh, the, uh, the uh, transmission and distribution yeah. uh, to get the power out of these uh, sort of so-called renewable energy zones, are there, uh, is, is work going on pretty smoothly? Is it, I mean, is it challenging if you can give us some color? Yeah, I, th I think it's a combination of both, uh, Prashant. I would say, you know, India as a, as a country has set a target of 500 gigawatt by 2030, right? So to reach that level, we need to do anywhere between 50, 60 gigawatt per year we need to add. Right now, we are adding around 20 gigawatt per year in that. So there is a, there is definitely need to catch up in the next two, two three years to get into that uh, uh, 500 gigawatt of target in that. So yes, there is uh, there are some uh, some challenges in between, but I would say that you know this is the the technology is pretty much you know standardized, and you are able to you know once we have the land etc., the developers are able to complete the projects well in time, and uh, also at the same time the government has announced as part of the national electricity plan launched uh, you know transmission uh, plans, and that gives a huge visibility. By the time your generation comes, your transmission is also under under uh, yes. construction or under completion stage. And that's okay. where the HVDC will play a major role in, in that uh, integrating those renewables into the grid. So does, does HVDC fetch you better margins than the other segments? Just trying to understand, or is it going to get very competitive? You're saying there are two, three more big orders, HVDC orders, yeah. that will come up this year. But how intense <laughs> is the competition? How are the margins? No, competition is there in every, every, every you know, sector, every segment of that. As I said, you know, we have been investing in this, you know, localizing the, the key, the margin uh, issue is how much you localize it, how much you produce it, how much engineering it locally is that. Today, we are able to do end-to-end, -end, uh, you know, localizing the HVDC technology in that. So we have a converter transformer, we have a valves, we have engineering, and all those things would help us in a, in a better uh, competitive. We are able to compete in this market. Okay, all right, uh, Mr. Veno, I need to push you a little bit more. The Leh Ladakh order, we had briefly spoken about it in the past as well. Uh, yeah. By when should we hear the outcome of that? So, uh, the, our customer has placed the order for the uh, uh, study spot. So, we yes. did uh, complete our study and we have submitted our report to our customers. And based on that, we expect the customer to, you know, start floating the tenders in the next uh, maximum in uh, one to two quarters. One to two quarters, and the outcome would floating be the tender. We... Floating the tender. So after the that, tender. we have to tender it, and then we have to win. All those things are there. So it could be roughly in the next uh, 
four quarters, we should get an outcome because to, in the next two quarters, they'll float the tender and maybe a, yeah. a, another quarter to get the outcome, right? Okay, absolutely. So, and that could be the other big HVDC order that we're looking at. Got it. Yeah. Just a right. quick point, you know, on margins, um, exports as well as services, you know, they are the margin drivers as well, relatively better margins. And I yeah. think exports you briefly mentioned are at around 25% of the mix. Is that correct? Right. And right. services, you were guiding that it goes to high um, teens. Has that happened? If you could just yeah. update us on both these two numbers, exports as well as services, what right. is it? Where is it headed? Okay. On the, on the uh, services, we are in the low, high, so, uh, high single digit, and which is the uh, last quarter we moved it to a double digit, and over a period of time we believe that it will be in the in the double digit, uh, double digit range in that. And the exports, uh, we have uh, we have started when we started in the company, we were on the 15 percent, and today we brought you 25 percent in sustainable. I think going forward, we will trend up around close to 30 percent range. So 30 percent exports uh, and 12 to 15 percent is is uh, is the services and uh, that's that would really help us to push our margins. Okay, all right, uh, Mr. Venu, thanks a lot for joining in. You know the stock price had come off a little bit from the top after seeing a one-way move in the last 12 to around 15 months or so. But you're sounding fairly optimistic about business prospects, and I think from a nation's yeah. perspective, if we're yeah. going to get you know a higher number of HVDC orders rather than waiting for five years, that'll be good news as we progress. Thanks a lot for Thank joining you. in. Thank you. Thank you for having me. For the